I came up with the concept as to, which was to, to create a world where people could enjoy the Thames Festival when they weren't in a position to do that. Well, the project started, I was sort of geared up ready for another Thames Festival exhibition, for another huge exhibition at London Bridge Station. And the COVID-19 hit and we realised that things were going to, uh, Plan B was going to be Plan A, which is to try and bring to life something that would not have been possible in real life. Uh, the feel of having, uh, having had an experience, to being there, walking around and getting to know the place. I spent quite a lot of time doing background research. I did speak to some people and they said they'd like to get involved, but they would when I, when I had at least 30 other people working with me, you know. They, they didn't think it was possible at all. So I approached the Thames Festival and they, they loved the idea. And uh, um, they, I was just going to do London Bridge Station, but um, Adrian suggested that I broaden my, my vision a little bit and do both sides of the river from London Bridge to Tower Bridge. And then I talked to Melissa Bustante and uh, St Paul School for Girls. She introduced me to, um, to Enter Rachev, a fantastic um, architect. His role is to, um, to, take, to take the ideas that we come up with together and make them happen on the actual characters themselves. We discussed a possibility of creating a 3D environment and focus on a section of the River Thames and how to represent that section of the city so we don't just copy and make a realistic uh, as, it, as it says uh, high, high end visual but make it more of an abstracted uh, environment which still reminds you of London and actually carries the essence of the river. We've been talking to some students as well and inspiring them to create their own creations and, 3D models or 2D drawings, which we can actually incorporate in this model in various ways. We can make them. Um, we can. We can. We can do anything really in 3D. That, that's why. That's why I love it so much. When Henry started uh, this project for the Thames Festival, he wondered whether we could involve pupils. And as a teacher, I can see instantly what we can provide and what we can expect from pupils, both in terms of what we could all individual, individually contribute and how we could work with the restrictions that we're under because of COVID. So this is the really exciting part. The actual 3D model of uh, uh, the section of the river is just, as Henry says, he, it's just a canvas. It's just a three-dimensional canvas. And the idea is that um, we just want to collect as many as, as many artworks as possible. 3D models or 2D drawings or their own creations or three-dimensional sculptures, anything really related to the river that brings the essence and the spirit of the river. So far, over 50 young people have attended our sessions and have started to learn about how you go about creating an interactive 3D experience. I have high hopes for at least a few actual 3D scans from our young people, as well as other techniques we show them so that we can put them into, into the project. Uh, for the 2D material, we want to put that on this fleet of 15 uh, little sailing dinghies that we have, um, which are going to be going up and down the river. Um, and on their sails will be the names of the school and the artwork produced. So they'll, they'll really be a part of the river. It's a huge set. It's massive. I mean, it would take a digital character, you know, five minutes walk across it. <laughs> this is big space we're talking about here. Includes the shard, so the walkie-talkie, the city hall, the scoop, all these uh, iconic areas of London. Rebuilding Tower Bridge so people could go up on the Tower Bridge walkways. Rebuilding the Sky Garden so people could go up the Sky Garden, look in there, the view from the Shard. 
People can walk up to Tower Bridge and press a big red button and a, and a loaf and then a ship will come out. And it's got to be satisfying, you know? <laughs>